Hey friends, Ari Koenima here, and today I wanted to tell you about an album that I think is nearly perfect. It just as a collection of the songs, I cannot think of anything better than this album. And, and the artist behind it is amazing too, and that is Cloud Cult Light Chasers. Now Cloud Cult is a local hero in Minnesota, and I am just so fortunate to live in a town where Cloud Cult is something that anybody who is into indie music on here, you mentioned the name and they know what I'm talking about. Um, but uh, they're an indie rock band that's been around over a decade now, headed by Craig Mingo. Uh, and they create this, this, it's hard to describe, but they have a lot of orchestral you know, influence and classical influence in their music, but they also have this sort of a scrappy, uh, indie rock vibe and they just get many things so right and righter than ever I thought possible that the combination of it is just really amazing. So the first thing yeah about the instrumentation when you put in an orchestral instruments uh, they have violin, cello, uh, the bass player plays trombone sometimes and then uh, one of the girls play piano and uh, French horn and trumpet sometimes even and the, the I love having classical music in in you know, pop and rock music or, or metal music in, for that matter. If you listen to the, the, the Beatles for example that is a great example of how the, the fusion of um, classical music into more popular uh, genres really helped anchor the music because you know these instruments and the traditions behind them have been hundreds of years in making them and these instruments are designed and honed and fine-tuned and crafted with just such care and maturity that only develop after such long lengths of development that having them into music. No, I'm not talking about some strings playing fluffy things in the ballads. Uh, you know, it has to be played. You know, with uh, with care and with with a prominent feature in the music. With you know, of course, able hands and, and let ha have them sort of really uh, inject their personality into it and not be just this generic fluff. But anyway, so I'm a big fan of bands that have those elements in the music and I, I think it just gives the music such weight and depth to it that uh, is very welcome because otherwise pop music you know it, it's easy to find it to sound kind of shallower in the more popular music um, not not to say that shallower or more accessible or, 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 or populist music is bad but uh, it just gives a nice weight to it the other thing is, um, Craig really started out with, uh, well, he got known for his environmental focus, uh, but I don't know if it's a more recent thing, I don't go back that far into their catalog, but they, he, Craig and his wife um, have been through some tough tough things in life, and the wisdom that, that they bring to these songs is just so tremendous. All the songs are chock full of quotable lines that make you go, oh, that's so wise, and that's so true. <laughs> and, 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 but the thing is that they deliver these, these really poignant and wise words but with a sort of a childish grin in his face and there's a lot of playfulness in this melody and when you come to your audience and say something like man i have something really important to tell you then in the audience will kind of back up with oh wait wait wait, wait. you know what are you going to tell me right um you too famously did this with the acting baby album too but like when you have something heavy and something personal to tell it's actually better to do it with kind of a whimsical light-hearted gesture because that disarms the audience and it makes it easy to take in that uh, there's actually some really heavy weighty stuff actually going on and cloud cult really gets this it's just the music has a lot of energy it's very buoyant and it's really uplifting inside there's a lot of hurt but there's um, a lot of hope as well and that just the dichotomy of those elements just make it so good
Um, and Light Chasers is an album, in my opinion, where just everything just come together and just make a cohesive whole and like nothing else. It is it is a programmatic or, or uh, what do you call it, in the, the, the uh, progressive circles. Um, Oh yeah, so it's a, it's a concept album. That's what I meant to say. It's concept album, and it tells the story or journey of this 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 crew on a spaceship, sort of meta, metaphysically speaking, uh, looking for something. And it goes through this journey, and it goes uh, through births, and it goes through challenges, and and all that. And each song just has such such significance to them it just there's there were no fillers there were no downers just every song just has its own just messes or, or point that makes you go wow that's so profound and then but the most of all where it gets just most profound for me is at the end in the final song the story goes that they've uh, they ran out of fuel, they exhausted themselves, and the journey has come to an end, and they didn't find what they're looking for. But then, they, you know, the captain rallies the, the crew and going well, but you know what we're looking for is 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 closer than ever, and that there is so much energy left in us. And uh, <laughs> you can tell I'm getting kind of emotional thinking about it. And you see, I really think that in life we get so focused on goals, right? And accomplishing things and the end result and, and the, the, the end, so not justify the means, but we go through process. And in the process, we sort of compromise ourselves or, or, or put ourselves through hardship just for in the name of achieving something. but. It's, it's more about the journey, right? It's about spending time experiencing things that you want to experience. And it's, it's the, the chase, right? That, that where the joy lies. And, and the final destination is just the point in time and then that's gonna come and that's gonna go. And, and I, I'm learning that if you, it's fine to have goals, don't get me wrong, but if you chase after goals, but the way you go about it, that the manner in which you go about it doesn't really suit you, it just really drains you, then then it's like, what's the point? I mean, the destination may be sweet, but it's just one point in time that's not going to last very long. And the time you're spending to get there, and the effort and energy you spend to get there, um, it's not coming back, and it's it's yeah, it's not the destination, it's the path that matters, and that that is what this album sort of. May, I, I I think about that when I think about this album. It's like, oh, you know, what am I doing, right? It's um, am I am I spending now? Am I spending today just in a way that I feel good about? Um, and you know, at the end, at the end, getting to the end and not finding what you're looking for, but yeah, at the same time realizing, wait, but but our path, our our journey, that was, that is what is keeping us going, and we still have energy, and we're gonna keep going, and oh man, that's just that's just so awesome, so. I really hope that everyone who is a serious fan of music listen to Cloud Cow and listen to this album. And they are just a great example of, of um, musicians who really clearly express their values and their visions and their message in such a way that the fans, when you know people who are attracted to them, they all have those shared values and they're very communal of our fans. Uh, there, there's a very, it's a very communal fans, of fan community, and um, and everybody's nice and everybody's thoughtful and everybody cares. And oh uh, man, you know, it's, they talk about how 
you know, politicians uh, rally the crowd, and but then in the end they divide us. But the music can bring people together in ways that politicians really can't. And they're just they're just playing their instruments and singing their songs. And and Kao Kao gets that. And so it's just such a they're such a role model to me. And I am so fortunate to have come across uh, them. And I really think that. You should listen to them, and particularly the Light Chaser album. All right, so that's all I have to say today. I really appreciate you watching. I'll see you next time.